welcome to this series of Mindset Kabanga Educator videos on Grade 5 Natural Science. My name is Risho Kejwi. The natural sciences learning area has been divided into four themes as we discussed during earlier programs. However, these themes do not exist in isolation from each other. Aspects of the content link very appropriately with each other as we shall see. Sometimes the links are very obvious, sometimes less obvious. This episode makes some links very explicit and gives us several opportunities for integration. We focus on natural science learning area big picture and how the content areas are linked together to form a unit. In this way, you will learn to develop your own strategies for forging links within and possibly beyond the natural science learning area. And today in studio with me, I've got Anya Goya. Hello, Anya. Hello. Anya has had experience in teaching in primary schools and in high schools. She has also lectured in teacher education institutions and has a special interest in concept development in science. Mm. Anya, today we'll be talking about integration. Now, now, is an integrated approach in line with the demands of the RNCS? Absolutely. We've got to try and integrate the strands of the content areas. So for example, if you're looking at energy and change, then we've got to integrate the strand energy transfer and systems with energy and development in South Africa. And at the same time, we have to then integrate across the different content areas. But you'll find further examples of those in the revised national curriculum statements. But if I give you one example, when you're teaching about energy and change, let's say we're teaching energy in matter and materials, phase changes will involve energy. If we're looking at life and living, then you could look at energy in terms of food. And if you're looking at the planet Earth and beyond, then the water cycle is actually driven by energy. So energy would be your link across those three content areas. Mm, because energy sounds like a great example, but are there mm. any others? There's lots of examples. And I think what you've got to do is you've got to go back and look at the revised national curriculum statements. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the different topics in natural science, and you'll see that those links become apparent to you. They're quite obvious. So for instance, if we take the first theme, which is life and living, then we look at areas like, we look at environment, we look at habitat, we look at soil, we look at movement, mm. we look at fossils, we look at how do plants obtain their food, how do animals obtain their food. So those are just some examples in that content area. If we look at the second area, which is energy and change, you would look at things like systems, circuits, electricity, and obviously deal with safety. Um, so those are a couple of examples, sound. In the third aspect, which is matter and materials, we look at physical properties of matter. What is matter? How does matter dissolve? What are the phase changes? And in the last aspect, which is planet Earth and beyond, we look at things like the seasons, day length, atmosphere, wind, rocks, uh, soil, fossils, erosion. So a whole range of activities. Hmm. Thank you very much for joining me here hmm. in the studio. Thank you. We're now going to examine some of our classroom situations. These learners could be working with life and living, or planet Earth and beyond, or matter and materials. The soil is like reddish brownish and it's really good for planting. This activity could be about the properties of soil, materials found in the earth, the seasons, food, germination. I am going to plant the particles. Maybe even economic and management sciences. Talking about a fresh produce business. These learners could be involved in a discussion about the earth, like magnetic poles, properties of materials, energy, and change. Two pieces of metal. Okay, the 
Here we are with our change of state group. Energy transfer, the water cycle, properties of water, and so on. It's called Even here, yeah, you see it's cold. Yeah, you see. And it's wet in yeah. the outside. But how does it get cold? Too? And how, do, how does it feel? Get These learners are talking about day and night, the seasons. A lot of energy and change there. They could also talk about plant flowering seasons or nocturnal animals. Fossils can be in planet Earth and beyond, or life and living. Lots of things rely on energy. Life and living. Plants make food. Animals eat plants or other animals. Ecosystems, food for energy, reproduction, digestive systems, fossils responding to the environment, soil, habitat, and movement. Energy and change. Energy sources, systems, circuits, electricity, energy transfer, safety, sound, energy from food, matter and materials, materials, pure substances, properties of matter, dissolving, change of state, planet Earth and beyond, day and night, moon, stars, seasons, water quality, rock cycle, fossils, soil, wind, erosion, weather guesses, temperature. Well, that's all I have for you today. Until next time, from me, Rishokejui. Goodbye.